What's up, Fancy Beauties and Bones? Welcome back to the channel. We are doing some more DIYs. So I took this table and turned it into what you are about to see now. So I picked up this peel and stick from Lowe's and it was $9.99 and I bought, uh, I think I purchased four, uh, four sheets of those. And then I picked up from Walmart this wall mirror to go on the full part of the table. So you'll see what I mean when we get there. If you guys remember, I did this to this table. I spray painted it and everything. So it was actually a cream color. And then right where the mirrors are on the side, it was wood it was faux wood and it was pictures of leaves in there so that's why i chose the mirror to put here and this is the final project let me guys let me know if you guys like this video or this diy and let me know if you will be trying this diy out at your home as well so on to the second project. I was inspired by a wreath that I saw in, I believe I was in Bell, B-E-A-L-E, -E, or either I was in TJ Maxx, one of the two, but I think it was uh, Bell. And it was so pretty, but it was $30. And I was like, you know what? I can make this myself. So you're gonna need the, wreath ring and I purchased mine from the Dollar Tree instead of getting it from Walmart because Walmart is a bit higher I picked up those bulbs from Walmart the other ones I picked up from Dollar Tree and the string ones I picked those up from the Dollar Tree and then I picked up the other items from Dollar Tree as well the the garland came from Walmart. I picked up two bags of those. So here, I'm just going through and just wrapping it around the wreath ring and just kind of hot gluing it in spots. So it was no mindset on, okay, I'm gonna put, put a hot glue right here. I just put it where I thought it would be most secure. And that's how I did the entire project. So yes, I am really pleased on how this turned out, guys. Alright, so now at, we're at the end and I'm just going to go ahead and hot glue that down on the front and on the back just to make sure that it's going to be secured down. And this is what we look like right now. So these I picked up from the Dollar Tree and it was actually on a stem of flowers and I just went ahead and pulled those apart to use them on the wreath instead. I'm just going through and placing those apart from each other in a certain way so that they're not too close together. And then just going through and hot gluing those down. And I must say, using the hot glue this time was not too bad. I think I only got burned maybe twice. <laughs> All 
right, now once that's all done, I am going to see if I want to just wrap the string of balls of ornaments around or if I'm just going to take them apart. So I did end up taking them apart and just using that string to wrap around the wreath. And it gave it a really nice touch, I think. So there we are. We're done with placing those glitter leaves down. And here we are trying to figure out if I'm going to go with putting down the poncetta or if we're going to do the string first. So this is where I was talking about where I wasn't sure how I was going to do it. So I'm just kind of fiddling with things just to see how it looks. So I'm deciding to just go ahead and take off the ornaments. Just separate them from the string. And it doesn't matter if the end of the ornament holder is still on there. It doesn't matter. And this too, I'm just kind of gluing it down in spots. I went ahead and glued that poncetta down, but I ended up waiting until the end to put down the other poncettas, just so it could sit up on top of the ornament. Yeah, I have three of them already done, and I just grabbed random ones a random group of ornaments and just put them together I'm holding it here because I ended up hot gluing them together so that they don't start flopping all over the place and that worked out really well I'm just about complete now guys and I did the whole the process I showed you I did that whole process off camera I didn't want to have the video too long showing everything now if you do get strings of that hot glue it comes right off so you don't have to worry about that so here I'm just putting the glue gun in there and making sure that it's in a place where you can't see it and then just holding them tightly together and you're gonna have to do this for about I don't know maybe 60 seconds or so and then this is where I chose to put the poncettas on top of the ornaments so that it's more pronounced instead of down I think it looks better this way you guys let me know. I tell you, I'm truly enjoying doing DIYs. My mind is just swirling with ideas and I love it. I, I'm, I'm really enjoying this and it's relaxing and my, my grandson AJ, he loves to see me do it and he helps me with the parts that don't recall, that don't have to have glue gun participation. So yeah, he's enjoying everything with me as well. This ornament I picked up from Walmart as well and I went ahead and found a nice spot for it and what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and place ornaments where they need to be placed and then I will go ahead and put that ornament on and it's so pretty guys
this part what may have been the most challenging was to kind of put the balls where they needed to go because of the spacing that I had left but it ended up working out so yes Alright guys, well I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of the video. It's not much longer. Let me know in the comment section down below which project out of everything that I've done, which one you like the best, which ones you're going to try out. And maybe post those on my Instagram so I can see what you did. I would really love to see that. So until next time, Fancy Beauty Symbols. You better stay fancy and keep your house looking fancy too. And I will see you in the next video. I love you guys all so much and stay tuned.